Hello, what's up, guys? My name is Devya Sagal. Today, I'll show you how to morph two objects in 3ds Max by using Phoenix FT. So, without any further ado, let's create with Devya. Let's take a text and change its alphabet. Let's change it to alphabet D. I'll take a bold font so that the liquid covers more area. Now apply extrude modifier on it and give it a value of 4. Now create a Phoenix FD liquid simulator, adjust its size and position, make sure that the text must cover under the simulator's case. Let's increase the particle resolutions also. It will make the liquid particles connected with each other. Now right click on the text and select Phoenix FD properties. Check initial liquid fill. It fills the liquid in the text. Now turn off the gravity option. Guys we have to simulate again and again after each and every change to see the results. You can see that the text has filled with liquid particles which are visible in the form of dots. Now take a clone of the text and change it to some other alphabet. Let's change it to S. Select both the text and right click uncheck renderable. Now select liquid simulator and go to preview and check show mesh option. It converts the dot liquid particles into mesh liquid particles. Now uncheck show mesh. Take a body force object. Click and drag in the viewport. In the parameters, click on none and select S alphabet. Select both the text and right click. Check display as box.
now when you simulate the text d will con convert into text s guys you can take any other alphabets also let's change our alphabets now to see the changes in the liquid you can decrease the cell size to make the liquid smoother the lower the cell size the smoother will be the liquid and it will take more time to simulate and render Now adjust cell size as per the choice. Guys, if you want to see the mesh smooth, then for mesh smoothing, go to rendering and increase the smoothness value. Also check use liquid particles option for better results. Now our animation and simulation part is done let's prepare the scene for rendering Firstly, I'll create a camera animation. Guys, I must tell you one thing. Uh, initially, V-Ray was my first choice for render. But recently, I have rendered some of my projects in Redshift. So, I'll render this fluid animation in Redshift. For this, Select the Redshift Renderer in the Render Settings. It's time to give the object some suitable materials. It involves some serious R&D guys. If you want to leave this tutorial, you can leave. Otherwise, be with me to learn the material techniques in Redshift in this video. 
I'll do some R&D on the material. Please guys, please be patient with me. Now, I'll take some redshift physical lights and enlighten the scene. Now the final design is ready. Hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe this channel for more interesting tutorials. Take care. Bye bye.